Mikel Rocky Pennington, who's plus 120. Will it be as close as the first fight? A lot of people scored their initial fight for Rocky Pennington. This was in Holly Holm's debut. It was a split decision win for Holly Holm. Um, Holly Holm is now 38. And I would be curious if she's done in terms of UFC titles uh, with that regard, given her age and the wear and tear of not only this pro MMA career, but the pro kickboxing and pro boxing career that she had before it. Um, obviously striking advantage would, I would lean home in a pretty dramatic way, given her boxing acumen and boxing titles and also her kickboxing. Pennington is pretty much strictly a boxer and much slower, uh, shorter reach, not as fast, a lot of stuff like that. One of these days home, however, will show up old. And I worry that this is after home has gone through a, pretty devastating finish the first in her ufc mma career uh finished due to strikes by amanda noons about six months ago i like that it's six months uh when this was originally slated she was going to fight Raquel, Pe- raquel pennington only three months after the fact so this has given her brain more time to heal at least in terms of concussion concussive trauma um my initial pick is just home i have no bet on this fight just given those concerns but mike i know you're a little bit higher on home than i am so by all means break down this co-main event fight yeah i mean i've been a big fan of holly Holm her whole career i bet her versus ronda rousey when she uh defeated her and won the championship i couldn't have been happier that night and so i i don't know if it's a, a small love affair even my lady has a small love affair for holly Holm, and um and so I, I love her. I just, I think her striking is way superior than, uh, Raquel Pennington. Um, I know that, uh, she did suffer her first vicious, um, knockout, but that was versus Savage and Amanda Nunez. Holly Holm has been knocked out before when she was a, a professional boxer. And so she, and she did come back and win a unanimous decision immediately after versus the same person who knocked her out. So she's not the type of person to get knocked out and uh, run from it. She was good to, the type to get knocked out to come back and beat the person who knocked them out. So I, I expect Holly Holm to be fierce enough to come in here and gritty enough to just de- be defensive, circle a move. And, and outpoint her because she's the better fighter, in my opinion. I was about to uh, throw a bet down on Holly Holm, but it's just the age difference, the sloppiness of uh, the, the Raquel. I don't trust that. But um, I, I, I really do like Holly Holm. I think she could win this fight. And her money line has dropped down tremendously. So negative 145 for her isn't too shabby. No, I agree there, especially in terms of her experience and all that stuff. It's definitely a good number and better than it normally would be. It has to have been the uh, knockout loss recently. That is what caused that number because in almost any other scenario, she would at least be 